Good evening, and congratulations to our staff and our board of directors for another year of life-saving accomplishments and commitment at Safe Horizon. To our champions, our own Nancy Clark, as well as Verizon, and to Kira with your unique beauty and grace, who has nailed it for all of us. Um, Kira, I used to think I was Miss Cosmopolitan. I didn't know about you. And the hope you give us all that maybe next year, one of us could be Miss America. I thank you for that. <clears throat> For those of us criminal justice professionals and victim advocates who come to these causes or came to these causes decades ago when the crimes of sexual violence and child abuse were shrouded in darkness, it is always stunning to me when a survivor puts his or her name and face to these issues. That kind of courage is what lets us reach the public to change attitudes, to change laws, and to put resources in place, whether safe houses for domestic violence victims or street works for a homeless uh, youth at risk. It is a powerful message when the story comes from women and men we don't know until we hear them speak for the first time. Just as it, is, as it is capable of reaching even more hearts and minds when it comes from a celebrity. And in this case, from one of the most talented entertainers on the planet today, our champion and humanitarian, Alan Cumming. Alan brings all his extraordinary star power to Safe Horizon tonight, and our gratitude to him is enormous. In the brilliant memoir Alan wrote and published not long ago, Not My Father's Son, he speaks eloquently about things that most of us here tonight know fairly well. Yet the impact of his words contrasted against the familiar image we have of Alan, the picture of total confidence as he takes on some of the toughest roles in show business. The impact of his words in that context is simply overwhelming. We are each here tonight to celebrate all of the reasons that Safe Horizon makes the world a better place. For me, the greatest heartbreak is the abuse, physical, sexual, verbal, of our children. Alan Cummings descri Cumming describes that physical abuse in this book in ways that are both familiar to all of us and yet shocking in their ability to cause pain each time we encounter another survivor. Our family, he says, had always been one of secrets, of silences, of holding things in. I knew that speaking would only make things worse, he recalls of his eight-year-old childhood, that it would make him, referring to his father, despise me more, make him pounce sooner. That was the worst bit, the waiting. I never knew exactly when it would come, and that, I knew, was his favorite part. Being around him was like navigating a minefield. We could never relax. We were never safe. You will be able to read the rest of this book yourselves. You'll each be taking home a copy of Alan's critically acclaimed and best-selling book. We know that one in four children suffer from physical abuse, that one in four girls and one in six boys are sexually assaulted before the age of 18. And we know that more than four children in this country die every day, every single day, as a result of child abuse, 70% of them under the age of three. As many of you know, what I love most about Safe Horizon are its child advocacy centers, this brilliant concept of a fully co-located safe place where the best doctors, cops, DAs, social workers, and advocates work as a team to save the lives of children in this city to seek justice for their victimization. In 2014, Safe Horizon assisted more than 7,000 child victims and their families. 90% of the children seen at our CACs last year were under the age of 13. 45% of them were under the age of six. So it was not possible for us to conjure up a more perfect humanitarian awardee for our champion evening than the extraordinary Alan Cumming. Yes, he is an actor, singer, director, and author, a Tony winner, a nominee for every other award given for stage and television performances. He plays the very roguish Eli Gold on The Good Wife, and if you never saw him in Cabaret three times, different years, you have missed one of the most amazing stage performances in theater history. 
but Alan is also an activist. He serves on the board of Broadway Cares, Equity Fights Aid, works with AMFAR and the Trevor Project. In 2009, he received the OBE on the Queen's Honor List, and in his homeland, he has been awarded the Great Scot, as well as, well as the Icon of Scotland. And of course, with this memoir, he is the face and voice of child abuse. Some of you who know the wildly inappropriate side of me, table 19, assumed, <laughs> assumed I might get up tonight and welcome Alan to the stage by doing a poor imitation of Willkommen, in, bienvenue, welcome, as he does so brilliantly in cabaret. But instead, I think of another of his dazzling stage terms from the same show, the song, Money Makes the World Go Round. Because truly, that's why we're here tonight, for the clinking, clanking sound of money for Safe Horizon. <laughs> you, you have the incomparable thrill of honoring a true champion, a five-star humanitarian, and a man who fits to perfection our mission at Safe Horizon, to move victims from crisis to confidence. So give a little thought to digging deeper and giving us the money to do that when your paddles are raised shortly after Alan leaves the stage. In return, I will not sing. <laughs> In the meantime, I have a secret too, but it's quite a happy one. By chance, I got to spend a weekend with Alan and with Grant at a book festival in Palm Beach earlier this month. Total coincidence. And at the end of the dinner, seated beside a tempting 85 degree swimming pool with an intimate group of authors, just 10 of us, Alan stripped down to his briefs, red briefs, really look great, and jumped in for a swim. And how tempted we each were to jump in after him, such as the magnetism of his personality and his big heart. Tonight, on dry land instead, we honor Alan Cumming for his courageous voice, his immense talent, his generous heart, and his commitment to the issue he knows all too well, child abuse. It is my great privilege to give the 2015 Safe Horizon Champion Humanitarian Award to a truly great Scot, Alan Cumming. Thank you so much. Um, thank you, Linda. Sorry I didn't see you in the pool. <laughs> Next time. Um, and thank you so much, uh, Safe Horizon, for this huge honor. I feel um, a little disingenuous because I realize in listening to everyone talk tonight, I wrote my book for kind of selfish reasons. I, I uh, as, as Linda said, was abused quite um, regularly and severely by my father, physically and emotionally and mentally, uh, as was my brother uh, during my entire childhood. But then he came back into my life uh, five years ago and caused more havoc. And that was really the reason that I had to tell this story. And I wrote it to kind of expunge it and expunge him and expunge the experience from my life. I had no idea how much uh, that would affect other people. I kind of did it for myself. And one of the most amazing things about this past year of my life has been uh, realizing the importance of speaking out. And when you do so, telling your story can affect so many more people other than you and your immediate family. And that has been the most overwhelming. And I'm so glad I wrote this book. I, did it, I didn't do it for that reason, but it was the, you know, cherry on the cake for, uh, uh, for expunging a very horrible situation. I did not have uh, an organization like Safe Horizon when I was a little boy. I can't imagine how that would have changed my life and altered it and made it better because I never talked about what happened to me. None of us, none of us in my family did. The, as Linda said, that quote from my book, silence was the best way to deal with my father. Um, silence was the way to survive. And of course, when you are silent for a very long time, um, it comes and bites you in the ass. And so as an adult man, I, I had a breakdown 
<clears throat> and many of the issues that many of the uh, um, um, occasions and beatings and things I talk about in my book, I really didn't remember at all. I had no recall of them until I was 28 years old. And then I had this kind of huge um, waterfall, if you like, of memories uh, falling down in front of me. So <clears throat> I cannot advocate uh, enough the importance of talking and sharing and um, giving people the experience of being safe and secure enough to tell what's going on in their lives and to be able to help them by just listening. And I think that's the greatest thing about this organization. I really, really, really appreciate it. I wanted to say that um, I share this award with my mum. I'm a brother. Mm. because they really are the champions. They've supported me through this, and uh, I told their story too, and they're not here tonight to be honored, but they really deserve to be. Thank you.